NASA has unveiled its new spacesuit. The American National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, introduced the spacesuit designed for a remanned mission to the moon. The new design includes features that will help astronauts in scientific experiments on the moon and increase their mobility. NASA is trying to bring the new spacesuit, the prototype of which was introduced, to 2025, when it is aimed to make a manned journey to the moon again as part of the Artemis III project. The spacesuits still worn by U.S. astronauts are based on the design made in 1981. Texas-based Axiom Space won the $228 million design contract last year, and it took them six months to prepare the prototype. Care was taken to make this new outfit more suitable for female astronauts as well. There have been cases in the past where female astronaut space travels have been hampered by a lack of suitable size clothing. NASA wanted to send a team of two female astronauts, and McLean and Christina Koch, to the International Space Station for a spacewalk in 2019, but a few days before the trip, Nick Haig went to space instead of McLean, as two women-sized spacesuits were not available. Had been sent. Fitting properly to the body reduces fatigue and the risk of physical injury. Spacesuit must-haves. The first thing a spacesuit should provide to the astronaut is oxygen. This requires careful design, as an error in the design could cause the astronaut's lungs to swell and die. The moon is a dangerous place, especially the south pole of the moon, which will be very challenging for us. The suit has to meet many thermal requirements and give the astronauts good mobility, said Lara Kearney, head of NASA's spacesuit division. Unlike previous suits, this new design uses stitching at the seams to give the astronauts more flexibility. There is also lighting and HD, high-definition, camera inside the helmet. In this way, the work of astronauts on the surface of the moon will be monitored in high resolution from Earth. The boots to be used on the moon are also designed to withstand the freezing temperatures of the moon's perpetually dark surface. The new clothes will be made using advanced manufacturing methods, including 3D printing and laser cutters. Mike Suffredini, CEO of Axiom Space, stated that the space suit they designed will be ready for the harsh conditions of the moon's south pole. Experiments on the new suit will continue this year at NASA's Johnson Space Center. NASA has allocated $1 billion to the project to produce two suits to catch up with the manned mission to the moon in 2025. In a statement made in 2021, NASA announced that they had spent $420 million to design a new space suit in-house, but when they were not satisfied with the result, they decided to ask the private sector to complete the design of the suit. The last manned mission to the moon was in December 1972 with the Apollo 17 mission.